Have you ever wondered how diverse and vibrant life under the serene surface of a freshwater body can be? The allure of these environments lies in their inherent mystery and the delicate balance of life they sustain. Each freshwater habitat, from the smallest stream to the largest lake, is a complex ecosystem brimming with life, each organism playing its part in a broader, interconnected web. Imagine a world beneath the surface where life thrives in myriad forms. This world is our planet's freshwater habitats. They are home to an astonishing variety of species, each one a testament to nature's adaptability and creativity. From the microscopic organisms like algae and plankton, forming the base of the food chain, to the fish, amphibians, reptiles, and mammals that rule the aquatic kingdom, each creature has a role to play. Freshwater bodies are not all the same though. They vary in size, depth, flow, and location, each type providing a unique habitat for different species. Streams and rivers ever moving and changing are highways of life, carrying nutrients and organisms from the mountains to the sea. Here, fish have adapted to swim against the current, and plants root themselves firmly to the riverbed. Contrastingly, ponds and lakes, more stable and tranquil, harbor a different set of species. In these still waters, life moves at a different pace. Plants reach for the sunlight, creating a canopy under which fish, amphibians, and insects find shelter. Here, the circle of life is a slow dance, paced by the seasons. Yet, these freshwater habitats are more than just homes for numerous species. They are vital for the health of our planet, acting as natural filters, reducing pollution, and helping to regulate our climate. They provide us with water to drink, food to eat, and places to enjoy nature's beauty. So the calm surface of a freshwater body hides an ecosystem teeming with life, each species playing a crucial role. As we peel back the layers of this enigma, we begin to understand the intricate interplay of life beneath the surface and the importance of preserving these freshwater wonders for generations to come. Beneath the surface, a world of incredible variety exists, teeming with life from microscopic organisms to larger aquatic animals. First, let's dive into the realm of the minuscule, the microscopic life that forms the foundation of freshwater ecosystems. These tiny organisms called plankton are the unsung heroes of aquatic life. Comprised of both phytoplankton, the plant-like organisms that photosynthesize, and zooplankton, the tiny creatures that feed on them, they play a crucial role in maintaining the health and balance of their environment. Moving up in size, we encounter a myriad of insects that call freshwater bodies their home. Mayflies, dragonflies, and water beetles are just a few examples. Intriguingly, many of these insects spend their juvenile stages underwater, undergoing dramatic transformations as they mature, a process known as metamorphosis. Of course, when we think of freshwater life, fish are often the first creatures that come to mind. From the nimble trout darting through swift rivers, to the languid catfish lurking in the depths of still ponds, these diverse species are perfectly adapted to their watery homes. Each species has its unique behaviors, dietary preferences, and habitats, painting a complex tapestry of life beneath the waves. But let's not forget the amphibians, the creatures that straddle the line between land and water. Frogs, newts, and salamanders are some of the most commonly encountered. These fascinating creatures often begin their lives as aquatic larvae, later developing the ability to live on land as adults, yet they always remain closely tied to the water. Lastly, we have the mollusks, including snails and clams, and crustaceans such as crayfish, adding another layer to the complex ecosystem. These invertebrates play vital roles, from cleaning the water by feeding on detritus to serving as a food source for other creatures. Indeed, the biodiversity in freshwater habitats is staggering, making it a fascinating world to explore. From the smallest microorganism to the largest fish, every creature plays a part in maintaining the balance of life in these vibrant ecosystems. Each organism is a piece of the puzzle, contributing to the overall picture of freshwater life. Just like any other ecosystem, freshwater bodies have their own complex food web. This intricate web is a fascinating tapestry of interdependence, where each organism plays a crucial role in sustaining the ecosystem's health. At the base of this food web, we find the primary producers. These are typically green plants, algae, and certain types of bacteria that convert sunlight into energy through photosynthesis. This process forms the foundation of life in freshwater, providing food for a wide array of creatures. One step up, we find the primary consumers. These herbivores feed directly on the primary producers. They include small insects, snails, and crustaceans, 
as well as fish like the common carp that feast on plants and algae. These creatures are the critical link between the energy-rich plant life and the rest of the food web. Up next, we have the secondary consumers. These are carnivores or omnivores, feeding on those primary consumers. Frogs, turtles, and many species of fish like the largemouth bass fit into this category. They control the population of primary consumers, ensuring they don't overfeed on the primary producers. At the top of the food web, we find the apex predators. These are the creatures with no natural predators in their habitat, like otters, herons, and some large fish species such as the northern pike. Their role is crucial in maintaining the balance of the ecosystem as they keep the populations of secondary and primary consumers in check. But let's not forget the decomposers, the unsung heroes of the food web. These are organisms like bacteria and fungi that break down dead plants and animals, returning vital nutrients to the ecosystem. Each level of this food web is interconnected, with changes in one level often having ripple effects throughout the entire ecosystem. The survival of each species depends on this intricate food web, demonstrating the delicate balance of life in freshwater. Did you know that freshwater bodies play a significant role in regulating our planet's climate? Yes, these lifelines of our planet are more than just habitats for diverse species. They are climate regulators and play a crucial role in Earth's carbon cycle. What is the carbon cycle, you ask? Well, it's the process by which carbon, the elementary building block of life and a major greenhouse gas, moves through our planet's atmosphere, biosphere, oceans, and geosphere. It's a complex dance of absorption, emission, and storage of carbon that keeps our world in balance. So let's talk about how freshwater bodies fit into this dance. Freshwater bodies like lakes, rivers, and wetlands are known as carbon sinks. This means they absorb more carbon than they release, they do this through photosynthesis, where plants and algae take in carbon dioxide, use the sun's energy to convert it into oxygen and glucose, thereby storing carbon. But it's not just the plants and algae that are doing the hard work. The sediments at the bottom of these water bodies also play a key role. They trap organic matter, which contains carbon. Over time, this matter decomposes, and some of the carbon is released back into the water and the atmosphere. But a significant portion remains trapped in the sediment, effectively locking away carbon and preventing it from contributing to global warming. Moreover, freshwater bodies also influence local climates. They act as heat buffers, absorbing heat in the summer and releasing it in the winter, thereby moderating the surrounding temperature. This is why areas near large lakes or rivers tend to have milder climates. But remember, the relationship between freshwater bodies and the carbon cycle is a delicate balance. Human activities that disrupt these ecosystems can lead to a release of stored carbon exacerbating climate change. Freshwater bodies, hence, are not only home to diverse species, but also climate regulators, making their conservation even more imperative. So let's keep this in mind as we move forward, cherishing and protecting these vital parts of our planet. Despite their importance, freshwater ecosystems are among the most threatened ones on our planet. One of the key threats to these ecosystems is pollution. Industrial effluents, agricultural runoff, and untreated sewage are constantly being dumped into our rivers and lakes. These pollutants not only degrade the quality of the water, but also introduce harmful substances into the food chain, affecting all forms of life that rely on these freshwater sources. Just to give you an idea, it's estimated that over 40% of America's rivers and lakes are too polluted for fishing, swimming, or aquatic life. Overfishing is another significant threat. Fish are a major source of protein for millions of people worldwide, but unsustainable fishing practices have led to severe depletion of many fish species. In fact, it's been reported that nearly one-third of freshwater fish species are facing extinction. Then we have the issue of invasive species. These are non-native organisms that are introduced into new environments either deliberately or accidentally. They can outcompete native species for resources, disrupt the local food chain, and even bring diseases. Zebra mussels, for instance, have wreaked havoc in North America's Great Lakes, causing billions of dollars in damage and pushing many native species towards extinction. Last but not least, there's climate change. Rising temperatures can lead to increased evaporation, reducing the volume of water in lakes and rivers. Changes in precipitation patterns can also lead to more frequent and severe droughts or floods, both of which can have devastating effects on freshwater ecosystems. It's projected that if the current trends continue, two-thirds of the world's population could be facing water shortages by the middle of the century. 
The threats are real and immediate, jeopardizing the survival of countless species and the health of our planet. Hope is not lost, as numerous conservation efforts are underway to protect and restore freshwater ecosystems. Around the globe, scientists, environmentalists, and even local communities are working tirelessly to conserve these precious habitats. Take, for instance, the success story in the heart of the Amazon rainforest. The community-led initiative, Guardians of the River, has made a significant impact in preserving the diverse aquatic life of the Amazon River. The local communities, once primarily fishers and hunters, have transformed into custodians of the river, promoting sustainable fishing practices and educating others about the importance of freshwater conservation. Moving away from the dense rainforests, we find another inspiring tale of conservation in the arid landscapes of Arizona. The Save Our Springs initiative has been instrumental in restoring the once depleted freshwater springs, turning them back into thriving ecosystems. This initiative has not only brought back the springs, but also rejuvenated the local flora and fauna, which had dwindled due to water scarcity. Efforts aren't just limited to specific regions or targeted species. Global initiatives like the Worldwide Fund for Nature's Freshwater Program aim to protect freshwater ecosystems on a larger scale, focusing on sustainable water management and habitat restoration across various continents. But it's not just about big organizations or community groups. Individual actions matter too. Simple steps such as reducing water wastage, supporting sustainable fishing and agriculture, or even spreading awareness about freshwater conservation can make a significant difference. So remember, when it comes to conservation, every little bit helps. Whether it's a pledge to save water, a commitment to sustainable practices, or just being more conscious about the environment, your actions can contribute significantly to preserving our freshwater ecosystems. Each of us can play a part in conserving these vital ecosystems, ensuring they continue to thrive for generations to come. Freshwater bodies are more than just scenic beauty. They are vibrant ecosystems, climate regulators, and sources of life. Indeed, these are the words we began with, and they remain just as relevant as we approach the end of our journey. We have delved into the depths of some of the most intriguing ecosystems on the planet, uncovering the enigma of freshwater life. We have learned about the numerous species that call these habitats home, from the microscopic organisms that form the very foundation of the food web, to the larger, more recognizable creatures we often associate with such environments. We've sailed through the intricate food web, understanding how each organism, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant, plays a pivotal role in maintaining the balance of the ecosystem. We've seen how the loss or overpopulation of just one species can set off a chain of events that disrupts this delicate balance, affecting the entire ecosystem. The role of freshwater bodies as climate regulators was another important aspect we delved into. We discovered how these water bodies, through processes like evaporation and carbon sequestration, help mitigate the impacts of global warming, playing a significant role in our planet's climate regulation. However, this journey was not all about the marvels of freshwater ecosystems. We also confronted the harsh reality of the threats these ecosystems face. Pollution, overfishing, invasive species, and habitat destruction are just a few of the challenges that these freshwater bodies are grappling with. These threats not only endanger the survival of the species that inhabit these ecosystems, but also jeopardize the crucial roles that these bodies of water play in our world. But all is not lost. We also learned about the myriad conservation efforts aimed at protecting and preserving these freshwater ecosystems. From local community initiatives to global projects, people are working tirelessly to safeguard these precious habitats. These efforts are a testament to the fact that we, as a global community, recognize the immense value of freshwater bodies and are committed to their conservation. As we wrap up, it's essential to reiterate the importance of these freshwater bodies. They are not just bodies of water. They are vibrant ecosystems teeming with life. They are climate regulators playing a critical role in our planet's health. They are sources of life, providing sustenance to countless species, including us, humans. The threats they face are real and pressing, but so is our resolve to protect them. Conservation is not just the responsibility of a select few. It is a collective effort. Each one of us can contribute in our own little ways, be it by reducing water wastage, supporting local conservation initiatives, or simply spreading awareness about the importance of these ecosystems. Remember, every drop counts, and so does every action we take to conserve these precious freshwater ecosystems.